Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I'm back with a music review. And this is from the iconic death metal band Obituary, right? And it's called Dying of Everything. It came out, I actually came out Friday. I was going to read it Friday. I got sidetracked with uh, live streams and stuff. And I started listening to it, though. And I wanted sure to watch, uh, I know uh, Overkill Reviews from Bang of TV reviews the next day, right? So I'm, I'm a day behind. Well, anyways, um, their iconic death metal band from the uh, from Tampa Bay, Florida, and usually a lot of the death metal acts came from Tampa Bay, Florida, whereas a lot of the thrash metal acts came from the Bay Area, in, uh, San Francisco, California. If you ever watched the movie uh, Murder in the Front Row, it's about the band Exodus. Well, anyways, um, eventually it started out as, as a band called Executioner in '84, then in '88 they. Uh, Formed into an obituary, and I remember buying in Fort Bragg, buying like uh, Solely Rewrought, which came on '89, and then uh, Cause of Death on I got I got uh, Solely Rewrought on cassette, and Cause of Death, probably one of their best albums, one of the most uh, recognizable album covers. I got it on CD. I think I bought. Uh, I think I got Incomplete too. I think I'm not. I can't remember. I might have got down. Cause on CD, and um, they used to be on Roadrunner Records. Cause Roadrunner Records used to host a lot of the death metal bands, not Cannibal Corpse, so that's Metal Blade. Um, and then they did like a house, and they changed the whole lineup and stuff, and they they got rid of a lot of that stuff uh, in like '92, I think. And then you know, obituary has been all over the place, but they're still consistent releasing albums, and they're with Relapse Records now. Out Narberth, PA. Now, I remember back in the day, when I used to work second shift, there used to be a pay phone in there, right? And I used to call toll free. I used to talk to one girl that worked there, talked to her like two or three times. She was really cool. And she was talking about the band Exhumed, because I was a big fan of theirs, right? And uh, she was saying they're really cool guys, but it doesn't look like that way, you know, for the type of music they do, right? And we were talking about how much that carcass, uh, the album, uh, because they say they play a lot of reek of putrefaction, reek of putrefaction from carcass there, right? That's like grind, death grind for right? And they were talking about how disappointing Swan Song was. You know, I thought Swan Song was okay. But I don't tell anybody that because it's one of, it's like the Cold Lake from Celtic Frost. It's not, um, it's not it looked too high upon. Anyways, um, they consist of the brother team of, uh, so hang around, John Tardy. On vocals, very recognizable voice. I mean, they, there's some names that voice that are very recognizable in the word of death metal, like Chris Barnes, who was the original singer for Cannibal Corpse, right? He, and then uh, he got kicked out because he was focused too much on Six Feet Under, a band that most people hate. I think they're okay. And they're replaced by um, uh, George Corpsegard. Oh, it's three names, like John Tardy. Chris Barnes, George Corpsegard, and Owens, very recognizable voices in the world of death metal, right? Well, anyways, like I said, it came out with the album uh, Dying of Everything. I know uh, Overkill Reviews on Banger TV Reviews for I did. It came out Friday, and I saw it. I was going to uh, start listening to it. I got sidetracked with all the live streams I've been doing on you know, panels and stuff. Anyway, it started with a song, Very Live. Now, one thing with uh, unlike Campbell Quartz, which makes most of all the songs are fast. A lot of stuff about Obituary is mid-tempo. Which is different. But I mean, they work good. And then, like I said, the vocals help. The vocals are more understandable than some of the other uh, bands. Now, it starts off with a song, Barely Live. Now, that's really, I, that's one of the fastest songs on the album. Because you know, the songs are more mid-tempo, like I said. And it's awesome. I love the song. I give that 10 out of 10. Next was a song called The Wrong Time. You know, like I said, more mid-tempo. And that's a 10 out of 10. And they have the video, music video for it, which I have not seen yet. I gotta watch that one. Next is uh, Without a Conscious. That was pretty good. I give that an 8 out of 10. Next is War. Now, I know Lou, and much he talked about and stuff like that, probably liked that album, that song. And that's a 9 out of 10. Next is Dying of... Uh, Everything, the title track, which is awesome. That's one of the fast ones. That's a 10 out of 10. Fantastic. See, My Will Be Done. No, My Will to Live is a 9 out of 10. 
Next is By the Dawn with a 9.5 out of 10. Next is Weaponize the Hate. Uh, that's an 8 out of 10. Next is Torn Apart, which is a 9 out of 10. And then very last, the longest song, and this is more like Sludge Mill, where it's like, um, you know, have the, get, uh, the guitar sounds really long. I mean, they really do the grudge. Uh, I love the sound. It's like, a perfect example is the song Horoscope from uh, Overkill. Great example of Sledge Mill. It's really good. I mean, I really like that a lot. It'd be one, and you also hear some of this Irish in there. Irish of uh, oh, uh, Bobby Blitz is Irish in there, too. It's pretty cool. But I give that 10 out of 10. Overall, um, Dying of Everything is a really, really cool album. It really is cool. Um, I give it a 9 out of 10. I had to put that girl, like that, that thing, girl, Dan. I think that's funny. It makes me laugh, though. But I mean, <laughs> I'm trying not to look at what I'm doing the review, but it makes me laugh. Though. Anyways, it's a really cool album. I, I really recommend it. It's on YouTube now. It was live streamed on Metal Blade Records on YouTube. Um, I think it's a great album. I give it a nine out, nine out of 10. So that's my review of, uh, the iconic. Death Metal Band Obituary doing an album of their newest album, Dying of Everything. So if you like this review, everybody, till next time, please take care of my legion. Aaron Jacob.